Hello everyone and welcome back to the digital YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about links. So the whole reason for being with digital marketing and why people advocate it as being one of the best kinds of marketing is because it is 100% trackable, but only if you set things up correctly and links are a big part of that. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing two of my favorite link products. So the first is Bitly, which is a link shortener and then Google's campaign builder, which is actually a UTM creator. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then maybe this will be an extra helpful video for you today. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Megs and every week I release tech tutorials helping you do digital better. All right, so let's chat all about links. So when you are wanting to share links far and wide, which is often the case when, for example, you've created a beautiful YouTube video or there's something that you want to share on the internet, then it's easy just to copy and paste that link and never think more of it. But there is actually a science behind this and the science being that you want things to be trackable. You want to know where traffic is coming from and Bitly and UTM links are a great way of ensuring that you do and are able to attribute your various traffic sources. So let's start off with Google Google's campaign builder because this is probably the slightly more complicated one. So when Google acquired this UTM kind of tracking company, it stands for Urchin Tracking Module. And what this allowed Google to do is that it actually adds a set of parameters to the end of your URL, which when you go into Google Analytics and specifically under acquisition and campaigns, you're able to see depending on which link was used with which parameters at the end of it, you can see exactly what's been driving traffic to your website website. And I'm sure you're saying, but Meg, I see that already through my Google Analytics. Well, yes, you might see, for example, that the source is Facebook, but are you seeing things like the source is Facebook's post on the 3rd of January with set C of creative? Probably not if you're not using something like UTM. What this actually allows you to do is have a much more granular way of tracking things and where things are coming from. So all you're going to want to do is log into this Google campaign builder. You don't have to set up a profile at all and you're simply going to put the URL that you were going to use in the first place. And then you'll be asked to add a bunch of different parameters to this link, which helps you as the Google Analytics user at the end of the day to identify exactly which link you are referencing. So there's some attributes which are compulsory and there are some which are just added benefits. If you want to use them, you can, if not, no pressure. And at the end of that, you're going to get an even longer link, which you're thinking like, oh my gosh, you know, it wasn't long and ugly link to begin with. And now it's even longer and uglier, but that's where a service like Bitly comes in. So without stripping out any of that gold in terms of tracking, you're then going to use something like Bitly to then shorten it all up. So what the user sees, as in the person that's actually browsing your Facebook page or wherever you're ending up aiming to use this link, they are actually just going to see a short little Bitly and for this you do need to create an account but it is completely free and then what you're going to do is actually tailor or tweak the link which is automatically spat out and you're going to give it something which is a little bit more on brand so for example it could be forward slash doing digital beta or something which sp speaks specifically to my brand so it'll be different for you and bear in mind obviously that a lot of bitly shortened links are already taken but that is kind of the crux of it so by taking this two-step process it makes sure that you have that level of measurement from a Google Analytics perspective and then you don't lose out on the aesthetics of the link if there is even such a thing. So Bitly also does have some tracking inbuilt so it will for example show you clicks over time but it's a lot less specific than Google's campaign builder which as I say allows you to add a bunch of different attributes and if you are kind of dubious and saying well Meg I haven't heard of any of these things before then all you need to do is go on Facebook and retailers do it really well because they need a lot of tracking to understand what's working from an e-commerce perspective or not and click on a product from social. You will then see an extraordinarily long link which is basically telling that retailer this was the creative person clicked on, it had the blue jersey and not the pink jersey and it actually allows you to do a lot of that A-B testing that otherwise you just wouldn't be able to know. The last thing that is super worth mentioning when it comes to links is if you send emails you 
obviously get a level of analytics depending on which email sender you're using. So things like MailChimp, MailerLite, SharpSpring or Everlytic will have great levels of email reporting. But if you are using SMS or WhatsApp, for example, there's not a whole lot of tracking that you're able to employ on those mediums apart from that or ever important link. So that is why that trackable link is imperative because with an email, you're going to see, okay, open rates, click through rates, and uh, a certain level of data. Whereas with WhatsApp, if I send a WhatsApp to 256 people, which is the maximum number of people that you can send on a group, I have no idea if anyone clicked on that link, if they looked at the message, I don't know any of that. So the Bitly premium account, so not the free one, which I've said that you can obviously go ahead and use. If you actually pay for a premium one, it allows you to employ a very cool shortened and branded link. So with the free version, you're just going to be able to brand the second half of the URL. But if you have a premium version, you're going to actually be able to purchase a short link through them and then have both the front part of the link and the second part of the link also shortened. So I think Superbulous is one of the best examples. I'll pop the link on the screen of what they use in terms of this premium Bitly account. I'm assuming it's a Bitly account. It might be a different link shortener. Do you guys get the picture? So often what a brand will do is just take out the vowels and just use a very shortened kind of version of their name and then the forward slash will be quite punchy as well. So every touch point of theirs is actually branded online, which I think is so cool. So I hope you found this video valuable. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section down below if you learned something new today. I'd love to hear from you as always. I cannot wait to see you guys in our next video so that we can continue to do digital better. I can help you out. I can help you out I can help